I was going to say um, in the announcements that uh, we don't always agree with everything that God does, but I think we are in agreement that today was really good. God did a great do- job today. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from Jesus Christ, his Son, our resurrected Lord. Amen. We used to have a cat named Mittens, and Mittens was a good cat, um, was quite a hunter, would bless us with uh, little things in the morning from her hunts. Um, and, but Mittens would often show up, uh, go places and get into things that she shouldn't have. Um, she got into one of our neighbor's attics once and she was lost for a couple of days Um, because she couldn't get out of there. Um, We lived right next to the church at one time, and during the summer, she would make her way into the church building, and during worship sometimes, she would be walking across the front, which people seemed to think was kind of funny. One time she got caught, um, she got into my fishing hooks, and she got hooked. Uh, Catfish, I guess. Um, We were very fortunate. We had a couple of veterinarians that were in our congregation, and one of them, Todd, he grabbed her and held her so that she couldn't scratch or bite him. And he clipped the barb and got the hook out. Um, And it's a good thing that he had her because she would have bit or scratched him, um, even though he was saving her. Isn't that the same thing that Paul is talking about in our reading? While we were still enemies, while we were sinful, while we were weak, Christ saved us. Jesus died for us. There's an old time seminary professor that used to talk about cat theology. He said that when Christ saves us, it's It's like God grabs us by the scruff of the neck and saves us. And he saves us this way because we have no interest in it. And we go screaming and trying to bite and trying to scratch the whole way. While we were enemies, while we were sinners, Christ died for us, saved us. This weekend is Memorial Weekend. We recognized our veterans who have served in the military for the country that we love. But the holiday is really to recognize those military people, our military people, men and women, who have died sacrificing their lives for our country. There is a quote attributed to General Patton that says that heroes are not the ones who die for their country, but the ones who kill the other people who are dying for their country. And I remember hearing that quote when I was young uh, in the movie Patton, and at the time I thought it was kind of funny. But as I think about it, it's not very funny. Not very funny for those who have died or for family or friends whose loved ones have died. Um, Even though the holiday is for those who have died, we're not gonna take back our appreciation for veterans who have not died. You don't have to die to get our thanks and appreciation for serving our country. But Memorial Day is to recognize the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice that one can give for one's country. We appreciate that. Of course, but it is not an entirely selfless act. It's wonderful, we appreciate it, we need it, but it's not a selfless act. They are not, they are dying for their country, their country, not a country that they don't have any interest in. There is some self interest. A mother that goes into a burning building to save her child is a hero. 
but it is her child. Now, don't get me wrong. These people are heroes. They deserve our gratitude and admiration, but it is for their family, their community, their country. As amazing as their sacrifice is, just imagine what Christ has done while we were still sinners, while we were still enemies. I mean, sin is to be in a, relation, a broken relationship with God, and it is to be working against God. Sandy and I um, were hooked on this one uh, Netflix series um, called Merlin. It was about the time of King Arthur. And uh, in one episode, spoiler alert, I don't think this will ruin the series for you if you ever watch it. Um, King Arthur and his men captured this woman, this young girl, who had attacked one of their supplies and killed some of their guards. And they put her on trial, and King Arthur was, they put him on trial in front of King Arthur, and, and she confessed that she had done it, and she swore that if she was ever free, she would do all she could to kill King Arthur. The king sentenced her to death for treason. King Arthur was persuaded to give her another chance because she was young. She didn't realize what she was doing. She didn't realize the consequences of her actions. Um, they brought her before King Arthur again, and he said if she repented, she, he would set her free, which was amazing for what she had done. He would forgive her for being an enemy and for killing some of his subjects. But she refused, so she was executed. King Arthur went above and beyond for the girl. But in the end, he, sac he executed her. We would probably say he did all that he could. After all, she was unrepentant, an unrepentant enemy, and he had to do it. While we were still enemies, unrepented sinners, Christ died for us. This is a God we can believe in. This is a God whose love is poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Our beloved citizens who have paid the ultimate price for us and our whole country, we give them our thanks and praise and appreciation. What do we do for Christ? Christ.